Hello, we are from Rockford Crunchy Ladies Nonprofit. We became a nonprofit in 2018. We, been, we were founded in 2014, I think. Uh, we became a nonprofit because we saw a need in our community for, for more people to learn about herbs and herbalism in general. We wanted to help reach our whole community and we saw others doing it for prices that we knew some of us couldn't afford and we wanted to make it affordable for everybody. Hi, I'm Chantelle. <laughs> Um, I met Michaela about two years ago, I think two years ago, right? Um, and really liked that she was going after a sense of community and, you know, support and being a new mom, it was nice to meet somebody who felt the same way. Um, and we kind of focus on providing community, like she said, to the women and their families of Rockford specifically, but kind of like the greater Rockford area. Um, and we support them on their journey to a more healthy and sustainable lifestyle. So one of my favorite classes Michaela holds is on bug spray and sunscreen <laughs> and how to make your own. Um, we really focus on education and um, at cost classes. So we don't really see a profit at all. Um, I think our gain from it is really the enjoyment of just connecting with like-minded women. Um, so that's the biggest point for us. Um, I do believe education should be affordable for people who want those, and I know Michaela feels the same way. <laughs> and not that people aren't worth their time or their education, but, a good point. you know, <laughs> we feel like if we have the knowledge, we're willing to share. And we do, at least when I talk about foraging, we talk about, like, protected land, state laws, sustainable harvesting is a big one for me, um, and how to make sure these plants are accessible for future generations like my children and their children. Um, medicinal plants specifically although um, I do love my weeds <laughs> um, and kind of like organic gardening is a big thing for us too something I've been getting into lately is like you know learning about permaculture and wanting to reaching out to other people in the community to see who would be interested in starting to learn about stuff like this um, I think our community area is about 600 people we have about two two to sometimes three depending on the month community events a year but we do have a class a month minimum that we try to adhere to um, just so it keeps everybody like coming back and seeing each other and everything refreshed. And um, extra funds that we do have goes towards scholarships to um, getting women who might not be able to access uh, a class or, you know, there are several herbalism retreats and whatnot that go on in the area here that we try to get women who um, might not have the availability or the means to do that, that want to learn. We wanna make sure they're there so they can, you know, benefit from that and more people that come. So that would mean a lot to us to be able to reach people that we might not normally be able to reach. Instead of just one person getting a scholarship, I would love to be able to give two more women, you know, and we kind of just wanna grow with that. And we are just, we heavily rely on our community to kind of show up to our events and, you know, be there for us. So this would mean a lot to us. We really appreciate Yay. that.